What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling and today we're doing a seafood gumbo and we're doing it with me a b hey listen this is like super simple you know what i mean uh hey you know what i'm not even gonna say it's super simple what i'm gonna do is we finna take the mystery out for those of you guys that don't know just how easy it is to make you know a seafood gumbo right you know what uh it really is all in the root listen that's what we're gonna spend our time with in this video we just finna i'm getting ready to show it to you so you guys can see it and i'm gonna walk you guys through that process listen it's just time that's all it is the rest of the ingredients cook like any other dish that i've made but listen that's what's so scary about seafood gumbo or just the word gumbo period so with that being said i'm not gonna over talk it because listen we're gonna talk in this video and we finna make it happen y'all let's get it okay here we go these are all the ingredients, you know, lined out. Don't let this intimidate you. You know what I mean? It's a few ingredients, sure, but it's a lot of just dump and go, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just start off by showing you guys, you know, the shrimp. These are the shrimp, as you can see, already peeled, de-veined them, and look at the size. You can see by the size of my hand, and this right here, you can just see how big they are, right? So this is about three pounds. Now I took the shells, because you guys know I'm saving the shells, right? We are gonna use the shells that came from that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, you know, we're gonna use this and we're gonna cook this down to get that seafood taste, right? So you wanna save these also. So whatever you peel, you know, you just wanna save your shells. Now, next thing here, we got one cup of all-purpose flour. Then we got a half a cup. This is the half a cup of uh, canola oil. You guys can use vegetable oil, whatever oil you like to use. I'm gonna use canola on this one. Then of course, you know, we got both of these uh, bell peppers, right? Obviously we got a yellow and we got a green. And then we gonna, you know what? We gonna dice these and we gonna dice them, you know, so that they're a little bit on the fine side. Here's everybody's favorite. Look, the W sauce. And listen, you know we saying, right? You know we making a gumbo, right? So check it out. You guys should have known automatically I'm gonna have that Creole kit. Now you guys can use whatever type of Creole or Cajun seasoning you like, but this is my choice right here. And don't forget, as you see on the screen, I put a discount right there. That's a 10% discount if you use the code AB10. You guys gotta get that. You see that I cook with it a lot and I put it on a lot of things. It doesn't just have to be seafood, you know, like nothing like that. You can put it on, listen, I mix it in my chicken, everything. Here, we got a half a cup of uh, butter. This is salted butter. Minced garlic. Thyme. And then here we got bay leaves. As you can see, we got three bay leaves. Now we got celery. I'm just gonna cut them down in the middle and then we are gonna chop these. We wanna get about a cup of this. Here we got green onions. And then we got parsley. Now this is that curdy parsley. You know, either parsley you guys have at your local grocery store, that'll work just fine. You wanna get yourself about at least a quarter cut. So I'll start with this and measure it and make sure I got enough. And then right here, I got 12 ounces of beer. Listen, you guys can use just about any type of beer that you would like. You know, I just happen to go by and pick up this Sam Adams. You know, this is that Boston Lager. That's what I'm gonna use today. Now here you'll see, I got some keen crab. You know, it's up to you guys. Look at how big this is. Just by looking at my hand, you can see the size, right? Hey, this is gonna make for some good meat right here. You really wanna see something big? Look at this claw. I just, uh, I know you guys probably already know, you know, this king crab is expensive. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here, I don't even wanna say how much it was, but that's what it is. Listen, it's for just me. You know what I mean? So this is me. And then if you're serving it, you guys can just serve it with some snow crab legs. That's just right here. Come in these close clusters. And then we'll add these, we'll get these rinsed off cleaned up and we'll add this to it at the end, right? Okay, as I was putting up the uh, seafood, cause you want to keep that refrigerated, right? You know, so I can prep my veggies. I went in there and then I remember, look, this is what's missing. You know what, you can't say this without having no, you know, some, some kind of andouille sausage. Check this out, this is that chicken andouille sausage. Hey, I got like maybe, I don't know, somewhere right around a pound and a half. I just took out a bunch of links and we gonna cut these up and we gonna slice them. But listen, I'll tell you this, if you ask me in my opinion, this is a must. And for all you guys that don't eat, uh, you know, like pork, this chicken andouille sausage, this is the way to go. Okay, here you just see me, you know, going ahead, just starting off to show you guys how I prep, you know, my veggies. So you can see, listen, I cut my celery down the middle, right? Then I bunch them up together and then I just go ahead and give them a chop. 
Now, one thing that you don't see, listen, there's going to be a, a, a yellow onion. But we're going to have one cup of finely diced yellow onions also. Okay, now you got all your ingredients laid out, right? You got your veggies. Those are prepped. Everything, right? So once you have that done, what you want to do is get yourself a pot, right? You're going to go ahead and put your, get your pot. We're going to go ahead and start off on uh, medium high. What I'm going to do is, now you know we had a half a cup of butter. What I did was just cut it in half. We're going to start with a quarter cup of butter first. You just want to melt that down. And then what we want to do is we want to get our, our shells, right? Shells from our shrimp. We're going to go ahead and just add that to it now. Then get yourself like a, you know, a wooden spoon. This works best, man. It protects, us all, protects all of your pots, things like that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cook this down. Once this melts, then what we're going to do is we're going to add, you know, 64 ounces, right? These are, so I'm gonna add two of these of the chicken broth. Now you wanna go ahead and start adding your chicken broth. Now we adding 64, you know, ounces of the chicken broth, right? So you just wanna keep stirring it and then you can see some of the butter. We just wanna get everything completely melted. Now what you wanna do is you wanna bring it to a boil, right? As you can see, boiling real nice. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna reduce this down to a simmer I'm gonna go ahead and just cover it, and then we're gonna simmer it for, let's just say about 15 minutes. We'll go from there. Look, you can see that right there. That's what you should be looking for right there. That's nice. So I'll go ahead and put the top on. I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Now here, you guys can see, I'm just cutting these down, you know, just like some slices. Nice size slices, it's up to you. No certain size. What we're gonna do is we're gonna brown these, right? So I'm just showing you this right now. I'm not gonna bore you guys, but you guys got your picture. You can do it however you want to. You can cut them in quarters, you know what I mean? Halves, half circles or whatever. Now, as you can see, these are already done, right? But what I wanna do is I wanna show you. Let me see if I can get this up in the camera and focus on that. You see the flavor, see all of the seasons inside of this? And again, this is a chicken and dewy sausage. Hey, this right here is what's gonna give us real flavor. Okay, what you don't see is, look, I don't have my camera facing it, but you can see just a little piece of it right here. This is the Dutch oven, right? I still got that going on, and it's going for that 15 minute timer. We got it simmering. Now, what you wanna do is, this is gonna be the pot that we are gonna cook everything in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some heat into this. And, I got it on like a medium high heat. What we wanna do is take our sausage that we just, you know, slice. We're gonna drop it in here like that, and what we are gonna do is, we are gonna brown it. So once it comes up, it start getting you know hot. We just gonna move this around, and we just gonna make sure that we get a little brown on it, get them to sweat, release some of that flavor inside of this. And then we are gonna move over to the next step. For those of you guys that had Indui sausage, man, you know what it smells like right now. Another thing is, I probably didn't, I forgot to mention this, but you can use any type of sausage that you like. If you can't get Indui, go ahead and use any of those uh, smoked sausages. Listen, that's where we gonna get a lot of this flavor at. Now you can see right here, as the pot starts to heat up, you can see those slices right there, they're gonna start to brown. And if you look at the bottom of the pot, a lot of the juices and the goodness that's coming from that andouille sausage starts releasing into the pot. So then you just wanna get yourself like a strainer, tongs or whatever you need so that you can leave, you know, that oily goodness down at the bottom. Now, just go ahead and add your oil, right? After you get your oil, don't forget, we were left over with another quarter cup of butter, right? So you wanna put that in there, then you just wanna stir it around. And just notice how like when I'm moving it around, I'm scraping the bottom of my pot too. Cause listen, you know, that's that flavor down there. Now once your butter is completely melted, you know, just keep moving it around. Now we are gonna introduce our flour, right? So listen, we are gonna do everything like in increments. So you'll notice that I do just a little bit at a time, right? So I put a little bit in there, you know what I mean? I keep moving it around. It kind of like thickens up a little bit. I just keep, you know, moving it around, keep mixing. I don't like to, you know, stop. You just want to keep going. Once you get it mixed, then you add a little bit more. And remember, just li listen, a little bit is key. You know what I mean? Because you can always fix whatever, you know, if you don't just dump something in there. Now, once you're done, what we're going to do is we're going to cook this and we're going to cook this for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now, after you got everything nice and creamy, look, after the first 10 minutes, look at the color. I want you guys to pay attention to the color. You can see it right now. You know what I mean? I just mix it. I'm constantly scraping that bottom. I'm not scraping it hard because it's going to come up once we put the, uh, our veggies in there. 
but we just keep moving it back and forth and now you can see what it looks like after this second 10 minutes right so we've been cooking this down for a total of 20 minutes and then here now look where we at this was after 30 minutes that's what you're looking for you guys and when i say you got to trust the process that's what we got to do now after 30 minutes now you see me starting to add my veggies now we always going to add our uh, onions first right because they take a little bit longer to break down so what we do is we add that and we cook that for five minutes after five minutes then we come with the rest of the remainder of uh, uh, veggies right so we put those in there so remember look the onions got the first five and then after that then you come with the rest of your veggies so your onions was on five and then they get they go to ten while your uh, rest of your uh, bell pepper and your other veggies they on their first five you know real simple now we're gonna cook that down look for a total of five minutes so after being 10 minutes of cooking all of these veggies down listen for one minute we're gonna add our minced garlic and we're just gonna add that and like i said it's just one minute just move that around get it going set a timer count to 60 however you guys want to do it and after one minute then go ahead crack open your beer and let's get that incorporated now as you see listen when you put that in there look just notice i want you guys really to pay attention to what i do with that the bottom of that uh with that square edge wooden spoon you know what i mean and look at the bottom of that pan, pan now because when you put them veggies you know the ashes and stuff from that it just picks up everything on the bottom once you got that stirred in good and it's mixed thoroughly go ahead get yourself a strainer and you remember we made that shrimp stock right now we just pour that on top and now it's like self-explanatory you got it now i know everybody you see hey listen your confidence should be up hey it's all good right here now once it's mixed thoroughly then we get ready to introduce our dry ingredients, right? That'll be our Cajun, you know, our Cajun seasoning, you know, Cajun Creole seasoning. After that, then we're going to come with our, you know, our W sauce. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add our thyme. Put that in there. You want to give it a stir. And then, you know what? Now we're going to add, you know, our sausage. You can see it coming together. And believe me, with your nose, you know right now, you got a real gumbo on your hands. Now after the sausage, the only thing you have left is your bay leaves, right? So after you just give it a, you know, a quick whirl with your wooden spoon, go ahead, add your bay leaf, and just give it a good, good stir. And after that, we want to start bringing the temperature back up so we can achieve a boil. Now you can see we got it up to a boil. You want to give it a stir, right? You can see those bay leaves on top. You can see everything in there, look. Our veggies. Our sausage now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer I'm gonna cover it we're gonna set a timer for the first 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back to it and we're gonna give it another stir and we're just gonna see how it is we just want to get it down to a simmer now after it's been simmering for a total of 90 minutes once it's done I went ahead and uncovered it and what you see right now is I'm just taking out you know I'm taking out the bay leaves right so once those are out, now we're gonna add our green onions. You remember the tops of the green onions? Look, we just gonna add those and then we gonna add some parsley, right? Now listen, I save some of the parsley, you know, for the end, cause I like to do a little bit, you know, garnishing, right? So go ahead, mix that up and then get your, what you wanna do is you wanna get your shrimp and then you start adding your shrimp to your gumbo, right? Now here's what I'm gonna tell you. Listen, you only wanna cook it for about five to seven minutes. And I'm gonna show you in just one second, just how it should look. After about seven minutes, take a look at this. Hey, and it's still under the fire. That's key. So listen, you just stir it around at the end of seven minutes or five minutes. It depends on how hot you have your, uh, your fire underneath and how hot your gumbo is. Go ahead and look at that right there. That's what you wanna look for. Once it looks like that, now it's time to introduce, you know, our crab legs. Now listen, if you went to crab, if you went to uh, use what lump crab meat you can use that you can add that now but or you can add like i'm doing right now just the crab legs either or and i'm gonna say this listen those were some big big legs you know what i mean when it comes to that king crab you know you got to have a pot big enough and then the snow crab you see what i'm doing i'm just breaking them at the knuckles and listen i take the end where that cluster where it forms that, that little cluster part right there i break that off and drop that in there too that doesn't do nothing but add a lot of flavor now here you just go ahead i'm gonna show you what i do when i do some plating you go ahead and use one of those uh measuring bowls that you have you know when you do your ingredients spray it with some non-sticking spray and then go ahead and pack it with some rice and then add it in the middle grab yourself a ladle and now you just want to start adding it around on the edge right you can see the sausage that right there you can see the shrimp but you guys are getting it 
you know, pick you out some pieces, just something to look real nice. Now look, I made this like this just to, you know, just like give you guys that restaurant feel, but this is what it's like when you go to a high-end restaurant, you go ahead and get a gumbo, it looks just like that, you know? So you remember that parsley? Now you just wanna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of that garnish, and the rest of it is, uh, hey, I can't say nothing else about it, but boom, there you have it. Seafood gumbo at its best. All right, so you've seen it. You know what, this video is really about just like, you know, letting go of whatever, you know, whatever you thought about before, just trying to come into it, you know, just like regular, you know what I mean? Uh, don't, hey, I guess all of what I'm trying to say is, this is what I'm trying to say. You gotta trust the process. I just wanted to show you, so it might be like a little long, but I just wanted to show you guys so you know what it looks like, you know, step by step. You saw the money shot, you even got a chance to see how I do when I try to plate it. You can look at that, you can look at them high-end restaurants, you can make this in your house, and I promise you, it don't need nothing else. So here it is again, you know what I mean? And uh, hey, listen, I'm finna get me some right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this spoon. And listen, if you, what I like about this right here, listen, with these herbs and, and the, the cooking process, when you serve it over rice, listen, it mellows it out and it's real nice. So, cheers, everybody. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you guys live down here by me, you know, they got a spot called Harold and Bells. Hey, listen, it's, hey, we got this in our, you know, our own kitchen now. Now let me go ahead and try this, the shrimp. Mm. Listen, I'm not gonna eat none of these crab, because listen, you know, my hands gotta get dirty and all that, and I just ain't gonna do that on camera. But I will tell you this, try it. You guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below, and we'll go from there. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you see I keep smiling, right? I'm about to get it. Peace, and I'm out.